Jimu is in my bedroom. You can see here, this is the homosexual part. This is the sidebar of the homosexual sidebar of the uh, Gottberg Festival. <laughs> Jimu and Lloyd. Uh, I, have, uh, I have been to Sweden uh, a number of times. And uh, this is what I learned from Ingmar Bergman. When I was uh, Ingmar Bergman's fluffer, <laughs> I uh, learned this, Scenes from a Marriage. This is what <laughs> Scenes from a Marriage is really like. Poultry Geist is uh, almost finished. Not too much left. Just okay. uh, We have to cast the film, uh, shoot the film. <laughs> oh, and we have to write the script. But okay. other than that, no problem. It's all coming along beautifully. <laughs> and we need some money. <laughs> Made me drink urine. I had to drink urine. And yes. Meat for Satan's icebox. The best film of the International Gutberg Film Festival. I think this won the Ingmar Bergman Prize. <laughs> It won the existential Ingmar Bergman Prize. Actually, uh, I made a mistake. It won the Ingmar Burger King <laughs> Prize. Maybe we can even show a scene. I have another one with the uh, with the scene. I think where your face is sliced off. Really? Yes. I would love Maybe to we see can that. show that. Yeah. Maybe we should show that. It would be like a world premiere. No one has ever seen it. I just took it from the editing machine from the Abbot. It Just came out on. A, we made a little DVD. If I have it, I, I think I have it with me. Hope I don't it. have to be ashamed. <laughs> yes, you should be ashamed. It's disgusting. It's terrible. Your your life is ruined. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're evil. You're a dirty girl. You're a dirty girl. Varför just den där idén? Ja, men han är ju väldigt rolig. Han ställer upp och sånt där.
uh, getting involved with uh, young boys who eat human flesh and also uh, have uh, a musical. So it's really great. We have some uh, trauma celebrities in the crowd. We have Mr. Andy, Andy uh, Sr. and John Turner, who directed The Evolved, which was just shown here. Stand up! The Trauma of the Future! We hope you enjoy um, the Cannibal the Musical. Uh, Verena Junkie is here. Verena worked on Poultry Guys. Stand up, Verena. She dies in Poultry Guys. Uh, oh, here is Verena. Verena just worked on uh, Poultry Guys. And uh, here is a major trauma celebrity, Mr. Andrew Sr. and John Turner, the, uh, the director of the Homosexuals too. If any of you are gay, thing you can ass fuck them and uh, just rape them anytime. I'm very happy, to especially Andy. Uh, any rate, uh... In terms of the history of cinema, Trauma is the only movie studio that has existed independently for 35 years or almost 35 years without ever having had a hit. <laughs> as long as long as I am president of Trauma Entertainment. We are going to continue that unblemished record. <laughs> Verena, you are here in the audience. Uh, Verena, tell us, uh, you worked on Poultry Guys, did you not? Yes, I did. Uh, can you talk a bit about uh, what you were paid and how long you worked and uh, what was the accommodations? I'm from Germany and uh, I Where came... Where did you go to make the movie? To Buffalo, New York. And I came maybe six weeks before we started shooting. So altogether, I stayed about three months. And um, I didn't get paid, <laughs> like all the others, other players. <laughs> and um, when I arrived, I slept in the basement of a church. There was no space on the floor anymore. So I took the space in the bathroom. And uh, in the middle of the night, people needed to pee. So they woke me up, opened the light, and uh, yeah, it was a wonderful sleep down there. <laughs> but since we worked about 20 hours a day and had maybe two to four hours it didn't matter that much, so... <laughs> Thank you very much. So the point is, to make, to make a trauma movie, you have to sleep on the floor, eat cheese sandwiches three times a day, and learn how to defecate in a paper bag. It's all about the art, so we've managed to cut out any... Oh, I, can't, uh, I can review the Gutberg Film Festival, that is a wonderful idealistic festival with many young people who uh, seem to be searching and making the eff the making the uh, effort to see independent movies and uh, movies about Eskimo, although the people at the Eskimo <laughs> movie were old people, yeah. but for the most part it's a very young audience and they clearly uh, are smart and uh, and they get the subtlety of uh, the, uh, I think they understand the trauma humor better than the Americans to tell you the truth. Okay. They definitely appreciated the evolved yeah. more than the American audience. That was really great to see the evolved. Uh, the, the because Swedish audience really is uh, listening. They are really listening. Yeah. And uh, I was happy that the master class was, uh, had such a big attendance. Yeah. I was very surprised that the master class had so many people and very grateful. My father always said, what, you know, always say, uh, you know, you always have to be a joke, you know, why is everything a joke? You should be serious sometimes, you know. Maybe people go, and go to your movies, you know. Every, why does everything have to be comedy? He's right, because comedy is the most difficult. That's why we have a very small audience, and the more serious horror films have a bigger audience. But your stuff really gets home here, as you know, it's your humor is... Yeah, but still, we have no distribution here, uh, you know, so... Uh, I don't know... It would seem that that audience... Careful, Verena. I would, it would think that that big audience that showed up for the master class, uh, you'd think that that would prove that there is some demand for trauma yeah, movies, but yet we have no distribution, which is why I believe that there is economic uh, blacklisting. How would you like to be baked and 